You know one journalist here, Mr. Montgomery, and I, oh my days. I never thought I'd be doing this story now if you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Kanye West, yes, Kanye Kardashian, the man right now that everyone's saying is betraying his black hood. He's just wearing a black mask. People are saying Kanye West is a white guy just wearing a white mask. Now, if you don't know the controversy behind him, a lot of people are getting onto Kanye West because he is endorsing Donald Trump. Sitting with him, meeting with him, speaking to him. I don't really want to give my opinion on this matter personally for me i agree with some of the things that kanye west is doing but also the way he's demonstrating it is with a lack of principle and also a lack of dignity but i have always been a follower of kanye west and i've always known um he he's an unpredictable human being so we don't know what he's going to pull off and we don't know what is exactly going to happen now uh, the reason why Kanye West is a talk of the town right now in Africa is because if you saw in the beginning of the video, he was dancing. In fact, he wasn't even dancing. He was spazzing out. He was, I don't know what, he was manifesting a demon because he was listening to Maestro featuring Wizkid. If you guys don't know the song, the song is called Immediately. Uh, Maestro is a new and up and coming artist. Um, and that's probably the biggest feature he's ever had um, in his career so far hoping and wishing for more later on in his career now that's a song that's booming in africa and it's somewhat booming over here uh, i met maestro for the first time around this time last year wonderful team and the guy actually um videoing himself next to kanye west is maestro's manager his name is bankuli nice guy his whole maestro's whole team wonderful i hope you guys stay that way oh, please make sure you stay that way because when some artists get big they start to move funny and act up please maestro don't become that artist but yeah you can see him dancing now why is kanye west there um now he confirmed the trip to uganda he's probably just passing through africa right now you know how it is whenever somebody's in politics they just they they just try to get their foot in somewhere so that they appeal to the masses or they also appeal to a minority and that's what Kanye West is doing I can see right through it you obviously believe that you're African but a lot of people are not agreeing with you because the way you're behaving to some people shows that you're not identifying yourself with African region this uh whiz kid move it's good but a lot of people are just gonna be like hmm, whatever but it's gonna be the talk of the town because it's kanye west i've always loved kanye west i've always thought that he was an individual of revolutionary he's a renaissance man if you don't know what that means he's a classical man and he's an autonomous man he stands on his own two feet of course there's always controversy behind him say what you want but in 2013 he said that yeezy is going to become a billion dollar company the other day yeezy was reported to have made 38 billion dollars in its entirety in a financial market period point blank that is why i respect kanye west what he's doing with donald trump right now he's going in the name of love now i agree Agree with that ideology because i feel there's this thing that if you can't beat them join them so if we're going to be against you know the whites or against donald trump against the so-and-so racists after a while we're just going to lose because they have way more power than us but imagine we go to them with love and we tell them that this is the message you should be spreading that is what kanye west is trying to do a lot of people are not seeing it and a lot of people don't agree with that but let me know what you lot think leave a comment like and please just make sure you subscribe uh peace